good morning students we are back again with our geography and economics and in economics we are dealing with the eighth lesson or the first lesson of economics that is economy and occupation we have learned about economy and in occupation we have learned about agriculture in brazil and agric and mining and fishing in brazil and in india okay now we are going to deal with the industries in brazil and in india that is a second part of our lesson industries in brazil now any industries which when there are industries there brings about lot of what you call economy many people get jobs many products are done and things are done, helped out okay major industries include iron and steel production automobile assembly petroleum processing chemical production and cement making technologically based industries have been the most dynamic in recent years but have not outpaced traditional industries similarly food processing like sugar industries cotton textiles silk and woolen industries have developed well most large industries is con concentrated in the south and southeast the northeast is traditionally the poorest part of brazil but it is beginning to attract new investments industries in india you can see these things ongc then we have rashtriya ispat nigam limited we have ra we have chitranjan locomotive works that is railways we have rcf that is i think cement then we have central silk board silk then kamye dukat praman okay then we have the maharashtra agro industries agricultural development okay corporation limited okay these are the locos of that industries in india look at figure 8.4 observe the logos logos given identify the industries with which they are associated which raw material is used for these industries classify them accordingly from which part of india do they get these raw materials discuss and write the distribution of industries in india is highly uneven this is so partly on account of uneven distribution of the necessary raw materials and power resources and partly due to the concentration of enterprises financial resources and other necessary conditions in large towns jharkhand orissa adjoining chatisgarh and madhya pradesh parts of rajasthan karnataka and tamil nadu account for most of the reserves of metallic minerals this area therefore particularly the northeastern part of the peninsula has a very high concentration of heavy metal metallurgical industries with almost all the steel steel centers situated here availability of large quantities of coal and refractory materials along with cheap power from the damodar valley corporation and a number of thermal power projects has added to the advantages rajasthan has copper lead and zinc karnataka has steel manganese and aluminium and tamil nadu has aluminium metal industries agro based industries including cotton jute and sugar are heavily concentrated in the raw material producing areas the forest based industries including paper plywood matches resins and lac are increasingly finding concentration in the forest areas of various states the coastal belt of kerala has a heavy concentration of coir copra and fish canning industries koyali digboi nonmati and bongaigaon bongaigaon refineries are situated close to the petroleum producing areas and mathura and baroni refineries in the interior away from the coast and oil producing areas the distribution of cement industry is also highly conditioned by the availability of raw materials rcf okay gujarat rajasthan and tamil nadu produce the bulk of salt in the country 
mechanical engineering, electricals, automobile, fertilizers, and numerous consumers, consumer industries, which show little bias of for raw material, have come up all over the country with heavier concentration near the big cities. Trade. Trade we have learnt in the uh, ninth standard. Okay. Read the adjoining table and answer the following question. What is balanced trade? You know, when the export and import is same, it is called balanced trade. Tell the types of balance of trades. We have already learned balance of trades, no? Balance, balance trade, unfavorable balance trade, favorable balance trade. Okay. Favorable balance trade is what? Where your exports are more than the imports. That is favorable balance trade and when your imports are more than the export it is called unfavorable balance balance trade and when the import and export are both same export and import are both same is called balance balance of trades these are the types of balance of trades which is we have learned in the ninth standard in which country export exceeds import in all the years Okay, Brazil's balance of trade belongs to which type? India's balance of trade belongs to which type? You see over there the chart and then you can discuss over that, no? Correct? Right. 2009-2010, how much is exports and imports India or Brazil you can see? My God, Brazil has more. Am I right? Brazil's import is less, whereas India's import is more. Brazil's exports is also less, India's export also is more, okay? But exports are more than imports, Brazil's, whereas India's imports are more than the exports, okay? In 2009-10. In 2010-11, again exports are less, imports are more. Whereas in Brazil, imports are less, exports are more. 2011-12, imports are more, exports are less. In Brazil, again, exports are more, imports are less. In 2012-13, in less, imports are more, exports are less. Whereas Brazil, exports are more, imports are less. So, this is going on more properly, whereas we are losing so much. Geographical explanation. Brazil mainly exports iron ore, coffee, coca, cotton, sugar, tobacco, oranges and bananas. While it imports machinery, chemical products, fertilizers, wheat, heavy vehicles, minerals and oil, mineral oil and lubricants. Major trading partners are Germany, USA, Canada, Italy, Argentina and Saudi Arabia and India. Trade makes up about 25% of GDP. Okay. See the figure 8.5 below and compare it with India. Contribution of trade in GDP. You can see that Brazil trade. Okay. Brazil is blue. Whereas India's you can see GDP. Gross geometric gross stock profit. No GDP. India mainly exports tea, mangoes, coffee, spices, leather and leather goods, iron ore, cotton and silk at textiles, while it mainly imports petroleum, machines, pearls and precious stones, gold and silver, paper, medicines, etc. India's major trading partners are the UK, the USA, Germany, Japan, China, Russia, etc. Okay. Answer the following. See BRICS, what do BRICS stands for? Okay. Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. When was it established? What are the objects of the block? The countries of which continent are not a member of this block? In which continent do the members countries lie? Okay, BRICS it is given over here. Hmm. Indian companies set up industrial centers all over Brazil and invested a lot of capital. The Indian companies have invested in such sectors as IT, pharmaceuticals, energy, 
एग्री बिजनेस माइनिंग इंजीनियरिंग एंड ऑटो सेक्टर्स ब्राजील्स फुटप्रिंट इन इंडिया इज स्मॉलर बट इम्पॉर्टेंट द ब्राजीलियन कंपनीज हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन ऑटोमोबाइल्स आई टी माइनिंग एनर्जी बायोफ्यूल्स फुटवेयर सेक्टर्स इन इंडिया ओके सो विद दिस वी फिनिश द पोर्शन ऑफ आवर जोग्राफी एंड इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर द फर्स्ट यूनिट टेस्ट ओके कंप्लीट द पोर्शन कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड स्टार्ट स्टडिंग इट ओके इज ए क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू